The latest ACLU blasts Portland police handling of protest file in this June 30, 2018, file photo, Joey Gibson, left, leader of Patriot Prayer, heads the group's rally in Portland, Oregon. Portland is bracing for what could be another round of violent clashes Saturday, August 4, 2018, between a right-wing group holding a rally here and self-described anti-fascist counter-protesters who have pledged to keep Patriot Prayer and other affiliated groups out of this ultra-liberal city. Mark Graves, the Oregonian via AP, file, Portland, Oregon AP, the latest on protests in Portland, Oregon, all times local, 8.30 p.m. The head of the Oregon branch of the American Civil Liberties Union has criticized the way the Portland Police Bureau handled Saturday's demonstrations. The Portland Police Bureau's response to protest is completely unacceptable in a free society, David Rogers said in a statement issued Sunday night. The repeated use of excessive force and the targeting of demonstrators based on political beliefs are a danger to the First Amendment rights of all people. We call on the Portland Police Bureau, Mayor Wheeler, and Chief Outlaw to immediately end the use of weapons, munitions, and explosives against protesters. Saturday's clashes were the most recent of several this year in the city as right-wing militants converged, met by counter-protesters, including members of anti-fascist, or, Antifa, groups. City officials have struggled with striking a balance between free speech and keeping events from spiraling out of control. But on Saturday, some said police seemed to act mostly against those protesting the presence of the extreme right demonstrators, using stun grenades and what appeared to be rubber bullets against them. Underscore 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 6 p.m. Sunday Portland police were accused Sunday of being heavy-handed against people protesting a rally by extreme right demonstrators, reportedly injuring some counter-protesters and prompting the city's new police chief to order a review of officers' use of force. Police in riot gear tried to keep the two groups apart, many of whom had come on Saturday dressed for battle in helmets and protective clothing. Dozens of the extreme right protesters were bused to Portland, one of America's most liberal cities, from nearby Vancouver, Washington. Saturday's clashes were the most recent of several this year in the city as right-wing militants converged, met by counter-protesters, including members of anti-fascist, or, Antifa, groups. City officials have struggled with striking a balance between free speech and keeping events from spiraling out of control. But on Saturday, some said police seemed to act mostly against those protesting the presence of the extreme right demonstrators, using stun grenades and what appeared to be rubber bullets against them. Police Chief Danielle Outlaw, who assumed command less than a year ago as Portland's first African-American female police chief, said in a statement Sunday she takes all use of force cases seriously. Outlaw directed the Professional Standards Division to begin gathering evidence to determine if the force used was within policy and training guidelines. The Office of Independent Police Review will be provided with the information for review and investigation. Underscore 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 8.50 p.m. Saturday the Portland Police Bureau says four people were arrested during rowdy protests between right-wing activists and self-described anti-fascists. The Bureau says in a statement that officers also seized multiple weapons throughout the day. The rally was organized by Joey Gibson, leader of right-wing leaning group Patriot Prayer. It drew hundreds of supporters and counter-protesters. Underscore 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 2.55 p.m. A reporter for the Oregonian, Oregon Live was injured when he was struck by a projectile during rowdy protests between right-wing activists and self-described anti-fascists in Portland. Ader Campuzano was bloodied Saturday afternoon but said in a tweet published on the newspaper's website that he was okay and was going to get evaluated. Police deployed flashbangs and other devices to try to disperse the crowds. Authorities say demonstrators threw rocks and bottles at officers. The rally was organized by Joey Gibson, leader of right-wing leaning group Patriot Prayer. It has drawn hundreds of supporters and counter-protesters. Underscore underscore to 10 p.m.
Police have deployed flashbangs and other devices to try to disperse crowds of right-wing activists and self-described anti-fascist counter-protesters in Portland, Oregon. The demonstration Saturday drew hundreds and there was a heavy police presence as similar gatherings have turned violent. Just before 2 p.m. police ordered crowds to disperse, saying protesters had thrown rocks and bottles at officers. There were arrests, but it wasn't immediately clear how many. There was also debris left on the street by demonstrators. The rally organized by Patriot Prayer leader Joey Gibson was the third to Royal Portland this summer. Two previous events ended in bloody fistfights and riots, and one counter-protester was sent to the hospital with a skull fracture. Underscore 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 105 p.m. A right-wing activist who organized a rally in Portland, Oregon, that has also drawn counter-protests says the country is getting soft and leaders need to step up. Patriot Prayer leader Joey Gibson on Saturday says his group has the American spirit and will unapologetically stand up for what the group believes in. It's the group's third such rally in Portland, which has again drawn self-described anti-fascist counter-protesters. The two previous events resulted in violence. Portland police appear to be trying to head off any violence Saturday with a strong presence amid the hundreds of protesters and counter-protesters. Police in riot gear have confiscated items that could be used as a weapon. Police have also announced they will not respond to non-emergency calls in the city due to the demonstration in a Portland park. Underscore 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 1140 a.m. A right-wing group and self-described anti-fascist counter-protesters are rallying in Portland, Oregon, as police tried to prevent the gatherings from turning violent as they have before. The Saturday rally organized by Patriot Prayer leader Joey Gibson was the third to Royal Portland this summer. Two previous events ended in bloody fistfights and riots, and one counter-protester was sent to the hospital with a skull fracture. This time, Gibson changed the venue from a federal plaza outside the U.S. District Court to a waterfront park so some of his Oregon supporters can carry concealed weapons as they demonstrate. The Portland Police Bureau said that protesters should expect to see a significant police presence including bomb-sniffing dogs and checkpoints where weapon screenings will occur. Underscore 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 10 a.m. Police in Portland, Oregon, say there will be weapon screening locations at the entrances to the site of a planned protest by a right-wing group. The protest by the Patriot Prayer Organization is scheduled for midday Saturday at a Portland park and self-described anti-fascist counter-protesters are also rallying. Police promise a heavy presence as previous encounters between the two groups have turned violent. In a statement police said weapons may be seized if there is a violation of law and added that it is illegal in Portland to carry a loaded firearm in public unless a person has a valid Oregon concealed handgun license. Many protesters are expected to be from out of state. A broader counter-protest organized by a coalition of labor unions, immigrant rights groups and artists also will gather at City Hall. Underscore 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 441 a.m. Police in Portland, Oregon, are preparing for clashes that could turn violent when a rally organized by a right-wing group is met with self-described anti-fascist counter-protesters. Patriot Prayer leader Joey Gibson says his followers will be bused to Portland Saturday with armed security and group members who will carry concealed guns. Gibson has staged several similar marches in the liberal city in recent months that have ended with people hospitalized and arrested. Gibson has said that he won't stop bringing his followers to Portland until they can express their right-wing views without interference. Self-described anti-fascists, or Antifa, have been organizing to confront Patriot Prayer and an affiliated group known as the Proud Boys. A broader counter-protest organized by a coalition of labor unions, immigrant rights groups and artists also will gather at City Hall. Copyright Copyright 2018 The Associated Press all rights reserved. This material may not be published broadcast, written or redistributed.